Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival. And uh, I just wanted to show you this cool thing I got recently. Um, I don't know about you, but <laughs> if you're like me, I cannot stand gas cans. I can't stand them. I can't stand them because the new stupid spouts that they have on them are terrible. They are a constant pain in the ass. If you leave them out in the sun, they get swollen and then, you know, and they get disfigured and, or they crush down or whatever the case may be. And they just suck. And so I have a, a buddy from Cheyenne, Sean, thank you very much. Um, he turned me on to these things that I'm gonna show you here pretty quick. And uh, these are really cool. And I will have a, a link to them in Amazon down in the description below. Um, they cost about $250, so they're a little bit expensive. But so far, from what I've seen, they're well worth it. I've got two of them, and uh, I've got another one back here, and I've got one here. And let me let me rearrange the camera here to show you this. So, what this is is it's a 30-gallon tank, 30-gallon steel welded tank. It comes, it's got wheels on it, and it has, um, maybe the coolest part about it is this pump right here. Now this pump is set up, so if you can see this, I've got a, uh, let me raise this up just a touch here. I've got a can up here with diesel in it. I just went to the store and I got some diesel and everything, and this is a two-way pump. So if I turn counterclockwise, it's siphoning the gas out of the tank and filling the big tank here, right? Which is awesome. And then when I wanna, you know, put gas into a tractor or, you know, whatever the case may be, then all I gotta do is crank this thing clockwise and it will, so I had about two gallons sucked out of that, and that's just now, while we were doing this, I pulled about three gallons out, roughly. I don't know exactly, somewhere in there. So, just kind of hit that at an angle. Make sure I get it all. That's pretty much it. So here's what the end of this thing looks like. Just a little gas spout, clear hose, which is nice because you can see if there's any fuel in there. You can just kind of hold it up and crank it backwards and your fuel's your your hose is empty. Uh, you've got a fill spigot here. Let me give you a little better look at the top. I uh, I painted the front of this yellow and put a big D on it for diesel just, just because I didn't want to make the mistake of, of uh, you know, putting the wrong stuff in. So it's got a little, little handle here for the cart. It's got wheels down on the bottom, which are, uh, they're not pneumatic. They're, they're solid rubber wheels. And uh, that's pretty cool. They've got wheel bearings, they've got bearings on them. I don't know why it's not focusing. Anyway, there, that's all there. Um, you got the little feet on the front of it. And then that's the hose. The top. We've got a fill a fill spot here where if you wanna if you have a can that doesn't work well or whatever the case may be, and you need to dump it in there, you can kind of a cheap lid. This is all steel and then it has a, uh, a filter. Let's see if I can get it out. It's got, it comes with a little you know filter and whatnot and then this is the lid. So the lid's a little bit cheap but honestly I don't ever use it. It just sits on there and I never take it off. So um, and then it has a, a pretty ingenious little float system over here. I'll show you a little better angle on that one. 
And then the other thing it has on it, which I guess is kind of cool, I'm not sure that it's really necessary, is it's got a ground strap. So this little cable here, and you know, you can, you can hook it to whatever you're getting ready to fill. And that way, if, you know, there's no sparks or whatever. I don't know. I'm not sure that that's necessary, but probably just a safety thing. Well, let me show you this little, little uh, fill gauge. So, basically, as the float comes up, see this needle, that red needle in the middle is where the float is. And so when it gets all the way to, you know, up high, then it's full. And as it drops down, then it's, um, then it's low. So it's real simple. Uh, I looked inside the tanks and the tanks um, are pretty clean coming from, uh, coming from the factory and that kind of thing. So I'm not too worried about that. They're not painted or anything on the inside. You see a little bit of overspray and that kind of thing, but uh, no different than like some of the steel gas cans I've had in the past and stuff. So, but yeah, it's welded up solid, uh, holds, holds fuel well. Uh, on the other one that I had, I had a little problem with the axle on one side. Now, whether it was I was too stupid to figure out how to put it on, <laughs> which is possible, I mean, it only goes two ways, but, um, or it wasn't quite shaped right, I had to take a grinder and kind of grind it down to get it in there a little bit better. And when in the process of all of that, I got frustrated and was trying to get it on there, and I ended up screwing up one of the wheel bearings on it. It's totally my fault. I didn't go slow enough. Sometimes I get a little, you know, a little ahead of myself. Um, but other than that, man, I'm really happy with the both of them so far. Uh, the hose, the one hose on the other one that I've got, well, let me just pull it out here real quick. Um, it has a little bit of a kink on it. You can kind of feel it slosh around a little bit, you know, when you're moving it, because it doesn't have a baffle or anything like that in it. This is what the front of them look like when you get it from Amazon. Um, there's a little bit of a kink here on this one. The other thing that I will tell you is that the pump on this one is not as smooth as the pump on this one. Uh, not exactly sure what the cause of that is. It's got like a rough spot in it. I'll show you here. Let me, let me pull this one out of the way. And, uh, I'll put this one over here. This is a full five gallon can, full right to the brim. But I need to fill this bad boy up. So I'll put that in there. You guys seeing this okay? And this is the kink that I was talking about. All I gotta do is cut that off and you reposition it. It's no big deal. The other thing I did is I put additional I put two additional hose clamps on these. The hose clamps that came with it were crap. Um, so I used some from a cheapo kit that I got from Harbor Freight and they were better. <laughs> but you know. Okay, so we got that in there. We want to put this stuff into the tank. So I'm gonna start running it this way. But see how that right about here there's a, a rough spot. But it still, still pumps just fine. But you can just kind of feel it. If you get your momentum going, it seems to work better. But when you first start out, it's kind of rough. And it might just be because these pumps are new and haven't really worn in. There's that rough spot. I think do better over here. 
kind of got to get that momentum to get past it. But I think that you could probably, you know, these pumps, you can, you can get them at like Tracker Supply or whatever. So if these, rigid, these ones that come with it stop working, you could get any, you know, pump at an ag store and it would probably work just fine. <laughs> here I didn't realize I was that full already my little my little uh, gauge must not be working on this one so that's something to be aware of too let's take a look at it the gauge systems Pretty cool, but it's it's kind of cheap on the plastic and all that kind of stuff. You know, I don't know. I don't really care for that part of it very much. Um, I'll show you what this float looks like. Basically, it's just a. Uh, it's supposed to just come up as the level comes up. You know, kind of like that. And I'm not sure what, why this is not, because we are pretty full. Maybe I just need to replace the ball on the end or something. But anyway. Yeah, it seems to be working now. But I had to kind of pull it up into place. Anyway, I don't know if they're a perfect solution. Like I said, I've only had them for, uh, well, just, just after we moved in. So I've had them for a couple months, I guess. And, uh, yeah, they seem to work pretty good as far as, you know, getting gas in and out. And it's certainly nice not having to not having to mess with you know pouring crap out and using funnels and all that kind of stuff my neighbor was over here today helping uh clear some land and stuff and you know i filled up this tractor for him while he was here and just you know you stand there and just pump it in and it was super nice so i don't i don't think they're a perfect solution maybe you could make some improvements on the design but what I really like about it is it's 30 gallons, so it takes up a tiny amount of space as compared to, what would it be, six five-gallon cans. So in the shop, we're working out of a smaller shop here, and I want to try to consolidate stuff as much as I can. So it, the compact size is really nice, and it's easy to roll around. It's got nice big wheels. They don't go flat. They're, they're solid rubber. Um, and if I need to be portable, you know, it's easy enough to ramp that up into the back of a, a vehicle or something like that. If we, if we needed to go somewhere with it, we could do that. And, or I still have all the gas cans. They're just over in the shed and I could fill those up, you know, and then roll out with whatever we needed to. So I don't know. Um, it's a solution that I hadn't seen before. I'm sure that these things have been around for a while. My neighbor said that um, this was similar to a thing that they used to use with hydraulic fluid back in the day for farmers and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. There's several uh, several brands. They're all kind of similar to. They're they're all probably made in the same place. They're just different different names and stuff. This sun. S-U-N-C-C-O or C-O-O Sunku. It's supposed to be like Sunoco, I guess. I don't know. It's Chinese, you know. Um, honestly, you could probably you could probably take the the gauge totally out and just cap that off. 
I don't I don't know that it's even necessary. It's kind of it's kind of neat if it's working good. That one's not working that great, but the other one seems to work fine. Um, but you know, like I painted that one so that we don't get diesel and gas mixed up because they only sell them in red and black. I think there's the only colors that I saw anyway. So yeah, take a look at them. I'll throw a link down in the description below if you guys are interested. Um, they're affiliate links, so that always helps us out. But uh, I'm I'm liking them so far overall. You know, overall um, they're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. So know what you're getting. Um, but they're they're definitely better than dealing with that <laughs> all those gas cans and what i do for for filling them for you know going to town i'll go into town i'll take the gas cans with me i'll fill up you know six at a time whatever uh get like 15 gallons of gas 15 gallons of diesel and then bring it here and then just siphon from the the gas cans into there and that way i don't have to try to lug the big thing into town you could do that if you wanted to like if you had a small utility trailer and wanted to just roll it on and then fill it up with the utility trailer or something you could do that pretty easy but this is you know seem this is working okay for me but uh yeah so that's what they are i think they're pretty cool and uh, i think it's a better solution for most folks um than having a ton of five gallon gas cans everywhere. I'm probably gonna end up getting at least another one of each. So that way I can keep on hand at least 60 gallons in the tanks, not including whatever I decide to keep in, in uh, five gallon cans. So, and, unless I get an agricultural tank, which I've thought about, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. But anyhow, uh, that's it. That's the that's the scoop. Um, they're easy. To, they're pretty easy to put together, as long as the axles <laughs> fit, you know, good for you. Um, and I got nothing else to say about them. They, they are kind of what they are. The, the 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 main design of it, the tank, the, you know, the welded tank, and the, the fact that it's the the no flat wheels and the cart and the pump seems to work pretty good. Um, I don't really like the chintziness of, of the of the little filler cap and the and the gauge, um, but overall, I think it's I think it's a better solution than what I've been doing for the last ten years. So uh, I don't think I got anything else. Um, probably gonna do a video talking about um, how we move forward. <laughs> in this new environment um, on Patreon here pretty soon. I think there's some things that we need to do that we need to adjust fire on uh, going forward and, 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 and being able to affect change and, and operate in a way that keeps us from getting in trouble. <laughs> so. I'll uh, I'll probably talk about that on Patreon if you guys aren't aware the Patreon channel or the Patreon page or whatever is uh, American Prepping Academy. That's where I do like the educational type lessons and stuff like that. And now that I'm starting to get more settled in, um, then I'll I'll be doing more of that again. Um, but I've got well over 25 lessons in total um, over there now uh, covering wide range of stuff from pandemic stuff to um you know food preparation stuff to um you know home security how to do some you know basic home security upgrades um just all kinds of different stuff the basics you know disaster preparedness basics and stuff like that so if you guys want to check that out that's cool i think they're running like a they're running a special where you can do like I think it's ten dollars a month or ten dollars for the year so it's it's less than a dollar a month it, when you do the the year at a time um, and then if you want to do the higher subscription stuff then you can you could get like uh, mugs and maybe even a t-shirt or something or I don't know stuff like that but you know I'm, I'm not too worried about that it's mostly just the uh, I just like to get 
the educational content out to folks that have a little bit of skin in the game and they want to learn about it. It keeps the trolls out and it keeps uh, people, the undesirable folks that, you know, just shouldn't probably be learning some of the stuff we're teaching over there, um, you know, as opposed to having it out here on the platform where everybody can see it. So most people aren't going to, most of the trolls aren't going to go through the process of paying money and stuff. And so it's, it's worked out very nicely. And I uh, thank all the current Patreon supporters. You guys are the whole reason that I do this, uh, that I continue to do this and um, appreciate it a whole lot. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to live the six Ps, proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.